Hey y'all, it's your broker Shannon. So I was supposed to go live with my insurance partner, um, but our schedules just can't seem to coordinate. I'm gonna make sure I tag her after this video or tag her in the comments so you guys can check her out and she'll be able to help you out. But I wanna talk to you guys about your replacement cost and why you need to update it. So it's something that you should update annually. And we had mentioned something about this at the beginning of the year. Um, so usually when it's time to file your um, home, you know, your homestead exemption, I'll mention taxes. Um, sorry, not taxes, but I'll mention, you know, updating your insurance policy. So if you're paying a mortgage, right, you probably got something from your insurance, um, from your homeowner's insurance um, saying, okay, you have updated values or the values on your home have updated. So your insurance is going to be this cost. Okay. And so more than likely they've updated your replacement cost, but you still want to check and make sure. And so what happens if you are not making a mortgage payment and you don't have an escrow account and that's where no one is checking, you know, to, to pay your insurance and no one's checking to pay your homeowner's insurance or your taxes. What happens if you don't have an escrow account that's either, you know, built into your payment or you just own your property straight out? Well, guess what? You still need to check the replacement value on your policy. And so what that does, that just says, how much is it going to cost to repair or replace your home, right? And so what happens, and obviously it's gonna be up to your policy limits, but what happens if you don't, if you haven't updated your policy values? What if you haven't updated those limits? You are going to get stuck. And so let me tell you, my in-laws in Mississippi, right? Um, we had to have them update their, their, their policy. They had a replacement value of $75,000 to this day. Well, not to this day, but when we corrected it, and that was not too long ago, but the replacement value on their home was at 75,000. By the time she reached out, my mother-in-law reached out to her insurance provider, that replacement value was 300,000. So, you know, what if something had happened to their home and you know, that replacement value hadn't been updated. So in addition to, you know, checking on other things involved with your property, check your insurance, cause that's gonna protect your investment. And I'm gonna tag my partner in the, in the comments, my referral partner in the comments, and she will be more than happy to look over uh, your policy and kinda let you know what, um, what to expect. Talk to you soon.